Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about arguably one of the most merciless games in Boyle Heights, the Big Hazard game. Big Hazard, or Hazard Grande, spawned in Boyle Heights. Big Hazard monopolized the Ramona Gardens housing project early as 1940s as it was developed during World War II. Big Hazard originally was a click of the White Fence gang, an old, old gang. Big Hazard would be very hostile and aggressive towards police as Ramona Garden residents and the police did not have the best relationships. Oftentimes, police would continuously get shot at by Big Hazard. An incident that escalated the tensions was when Mauricio Cornejo, a well-known member of the Big Hazard, had suffered cardiac arrest in police custody at LAPD Hollenbeck Station in 2007. Several people who witnessed Cornejo being taken into custody claimed Cornejo was severely beaten after being handcuffed with batons by Los Angeles police officers. Big Hazard has deeply tied roots to the Mexican Mafia. Robert Salas, who went by Robot, was looked at by many as the king of the Hazard gang. Robert would die behind bars on December 4, 2004. Adolfo Reynoso, better known on the streets as Champ, is also from Big Hazard and a shot caller for the Mexican Mafia. Another gangster was David Smilon Gallardo from Big Hazard and affiliated with the Mexican Mafia as well. Gallardo would call shots and execute hits ordered by the Mexican Mafia. He is currently serving life without parole. In 1994, a documentary titled Lives in the Hazard was released based on cast members from American Me. When American Me was being filmed, Big Hazard and their enemy, Michigan Criminal Force, coexisted and peace treated. Anna Lazaraga, a popular gang intervention worker, played a role in that. But on May 13, 1992, Anna would be killed by Jose Big Joker Gilbert Gonzalez in the driveway of her Lancaster Avenue home. In 1993, Big Joker was sentenced to life in prison and eventually became a member of La M.A. The killing of Anna was ordered by some M.A. members in 1992 because they did not like a specific scene in the movie in American Me and decided everyone involved in the film should be killed. The Soto Liquor Store in East Los Angeles has two video security cameras outside the store. One aimed at the parking lot and another at the adjacent sidewalk. There are also cameras inside the store. The camera system has a date and time stamp. Ramona Gardens housing development is about three blocks from the store. Ramona Gardens also has video security cameras. Robert Hernandez and his brother Jesus were members of the Big Hazard gang. Jesus got into a dispute with the Big Hazard shot caller, Robert Gonzalez. As a result, Jesus shot and killed Gonzalez. The Big Hazard leadership gave a green light to kill Jesus and members of his family, including Hernandez. A Big Hazard member who fails to carry out a green light is subject to discipline for failure to follow orders. In the afternoon of July 25, 2013, Mario Gonzalez drove with his friend, Oscar Munez, to Munez's house. The house was within territory claimed by Cam. Cam territory is adjacent to an area claimed by rival gang, Big Hazard. As they pulled into Munez's driveway, a red or burgundy Lexus with gold rims drove past them, made a U-turn, and stopped behind them. A passenger in the Lexus got out of the car and approached Gonzalez's car. He wore a gray hooded sweatshirt with a USC logo. He asked Gonzalez and Munez where they from. They replied that they were not from anywhere. The man dissed Cam and told Gonzalez and Munez to say it, then shot both men several times. Munez was shot in his face, arm, and back. Gonzalez was shot three times in his arm. One bullet passed through Gonzalez's arm and lodged in his chest. They both survived. Munez's mother, Sandra Sanchez, was nearby when she heard the shots. She saw Munez lying down in the car and a man standing nearby who turned and pointed a gun at her. When the driver of the Lexus honked the horn, the man got into the car and left. Munez selected Ryan Zapata's picture out of a six-pack photo lineup and said he was sure that the man in the photograph was the shooter. At a different time and place, Gonzalez initially selected the photograph of someone other than Ryan, but later identified Zapata as the person who was probably the shooter. Gonzalez and Munez identified Ryan later after changing their mind to agree to testify against Ryan. 
Ryan Zapata was convicted of two counts of attempted murder and was sentenced to life with a minimum of 15 years. On May 3rd, 2014, at around 11.30 p.m., video showed Christian Almanza wearing a light-colored shirt walking near Ramona Gardens toward the store. About 40 to 50 seconds later, Rivas wearing a dark shirt and light-colored shirts followed. Shortly thereafter, Almanza entered the store and spoke briefly with Ricardo Hernandez. Almanza walked out of the store with Hernandez behind him. Almanza made a sharp left turn and Hernandez followed outside of camera range. Hernandez was fatally shot in the abdomen. Just prior to Hernandez being shot, video shows Rivas walking around a dumpster to the sidewalk next to the store. Rivas removed something from his pocket with his right hand, bringing his hands together with his right hand and a fist and making gestures with his hands, similar to those of a person manipulating the slide on a semi-automatic handgun. Revis was wearing a black shirt and a light colored shorts. No video shows the actual shooting. Gavina Soria was talking on a payphone outside the liquor store. She heard shots and saw the shooter who was wearing a black t-shirt. Anthony Parra saw the shooting from a taco cart position diagonally across the street. He testified that the shooter was wearing dark clothing. During the shooting, America Beltran was shot in the leg. Beltran went to elementary school with Rivas. They knew each other's family and had a good relationship. Beltran survived his wounds. Four casings from a 380 caliber semi-automatic handgun were found at the scene. Anthony Rivas from Big Hazard was sentenced to 25 years to life for murder, plus 25 years to life for the attendant firearm enhancement, plus a consecutive seven years, four months for the assault and attendant enhancements. On the night of May 11, 2014, Eight members of Big Hazard Street Gang, which claims Ramona Gardens as territory, assembled, prepared Molotov cocktails. They drove outside of Ramona Gardens, then re-entered the housing development on foot to avoid security cameras. Once the gang members located their pre-selected targets, they smashed the windows of four apartments and threw lit Molotov cocktails into the residence. Three of the four target apartments were occupied by African-American families, including women and children, who were sleeping at the time of the unprovoked attack. December later that year, different combined law enforcement agencies carried out Operation Resident Evil. The operation was in regards to drug dealing, robbery, and murder. The arrest culminated a four-year investigation that began after a car crash and shooting on Interstate 10. Police searching the car, which belonged to a suspected drug dealer, found letters written in code for Manuel Larry Jackson, a hazard gang member serving time at a super maximum security federal prison in Colorado for bank robbery and attempting to kill another inmate. When authorities discovered Jackson, a member of the Mexican Mafia who headed the hazard gang, was about to be released from prison, they launched a task force to look into the gang. Once released, Jackson was snared in a separate investigation involving the Mexican Mafia and its connection to the La Familia drug cartel in Mexico. Many Big Hazard members already pled guilty, been convicted and sentenced. Victor Grizzly Burrios was sentenced to 155 months, nearly 13 years. Carlos Hernandez, who went by Ryder, was sentenced to 16 years in federal prison.